Introducing Scott and Melissa Congress, Congress Jewelers. For three generations, yes. Third generation. So for those of you guys that don't know Congress Jewelers, um, naturally third generation started up north, but you've been on the island since 1980? 80, yeah. And it started with your dad. It did. And your mom. Yep. Moved us down here uh, from Peoria, Illinois. Yep. My senior year of high school. I graduated and out we went. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been so nice seeing you guys. I've known you guys for a long time. I started my career on St. about 30 years ago, and and that's how I got to meet you guys, and you guys just do a fantastic job. I know your daughters. I know your kids. Um, Becca's like a, uh, a daughter, daughter to me. <laughs> um, you've got a great family. Um, Sanibel Island residents, uh, a giver to the community, and that's what's so nice is you not only have a store there, but you also you give back, um, and that's why the islands are so special to you. Southwest Florida is so special to you because you've you've been around here serving all of Southwest Florida, not just the island. People come from all over to your jewelry store, and there's a reason why, because it's first class. It's a fantastic jewelry store. It's beautiful. Santa Bell's a little bit different right now because we had to pivot and move over to the Bell Tower. We'll talk about that. Um, but then also to your, your love for Santa Bell and Captiva Island, it's always shown um, and I think that's why you have the following in the, the people on the island, too, because um, I've been in your store and everybody's got a smile on their face and you guys are just great at what you do. So thank you for coming in tonight. Uh, we're going to jump right in, but try to stay on um, because we got a giveaway tonight. Um, we're not going to give it away tonight. You'll find out how we're going to give it away. But uh, this is something special that you're doing right now, you know, because of what happened on September 28th, pretty much. Um, we've got this charm that you've designed, uh, Sanibel strong, Captiva strong, Florida strong. Um, and there might be some other ones coming yep, too. soon to be Fort Myers beach strong. You've had great success with great that. Great success. Huh? Yeah. So we're yeah. going to give that away, uh, to one of our lucky viewers out there. Stay on, let us know what you think about, uh, the, uh, the little podcast, what we're doing tonight. Um, but just support Congress jewelers. That's what this is about, supporting you and small businesses on the island um, because small businesses on, on the island have been affected. And we've got a lot going on out there. Um, but like we were saying, we're going to come back. Um, and Sanibel is Sanibel. It will always be Sanibel. And like I was saying to you, it's going to be bigger and better. It's still going to be Sanibel. It's just going to be freshened up a little bit in some spots. It's true. But it's Sanibel. That's what makes it so special. So um, we're going to jump right into that. So September 28th, Hurricane Ian came in. Yeah. You stayed on the island. I did. Yeah. You have a business that's right. I mean, you, you're, your I, home is right behind your shop. I live almost right, right behind, behind your shop. I live right behind Periwinkle Place. I yeah. can walk to work, and I walk home for lunch, and I walk to walk the dog. And, yeah, I'm right there. And you were, you were there to protect your home and, and look after your home and – and support your community and be there for your for your office and make sure it was safe too. Yeah. yeah. So it was uh, it was really scary. Uh, water coming up about nine feet at the house, and all I could think of was how much water is in the store. Yeah. What am I going to come back to? Yeah. And um, I was just, you know, hoping the storm would end, but it was a long one. It took six hours to calm down, and then another twelve hours before I felt safe enough to go outside and see what was going on. Yeah. So it was a long day. You went over there and checked the store. Everything was fine. That's we had flooding. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the store was definitely damaged. Um, the whole plaza was just like a lot of... Yeah, roof damage and floodwaters um, on the far side of Periwinkle Place, the original side where uh, Chico's is and the original city hall was. Yeah. It was up almost nine feet. Yeah. And in the store, in our store on our side, we're set up a little higher. Uh, we had 41 inches into the, into the store. Yeah. So Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. We've been through this before. We were with, with Charlie. Right. We had the, the storm, with, but this one was a little bit different because of the flooding. Right. Um, and I just want to mention that Scott was stayed on the island, but I was in Fort Myers. No, I yeah. <laughs> so I was worried, very worried. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> about him yeah. and our dog yeah, and we our too. home and our, our store. But, you know, after Charlie right. and everyone says, why did he stay? Why did he stay? Well, you know. He wanted to ch- check on our on our business, you know, our livelihood. We have jewelry in the vault. We had our clients' jewelries. We had the grandmother's ring that we were sizing, you know, all sorts of things. And he, he didn't sleep for 10 days after Charlie. Yeah. And we're like, you know what? 
I just need to see the vault. Yeah. So when he woke up that next morning and he went out, the first person he saw, because Billy is our neighbor, Billy from Billy Bikes, he and Billy went over to the store with a crowbar, took the plywood off the back of the door. He brought along some WD-40 and... Uh, Lubricated the accommodation to make sure it, the salt water wouldn't ruin it. Yeah. Uh, you know, after Charlie, it, it was really stiff and I was concerned and we had it checked out and redone. And they said, man, if this ever happens again, make sure it's make sure you do something to get rid of the salt water. And so I did that. Thank goodness. It only opened three more times. It's now in the open position. I will not lock. Yeah. The vault door. That's the thing. So, A lot of people say, God, I can't believe they stayed or at that. We've been through this before. Right. We've talked about surge and flooding before, you know, with Charlie and other storms. I mean, we get these kind of, and we just didn't think that this could happen. Nobody thought we'd get the water. No. I mean, Charlie was like, you know, a, a, a thunderstorm compared yeah. to this thing. You yeah. Know, the, yeah. When you get a wall of water coming up, and I watched it come up our backyard through the pool, into the pool, within 35, 40 minutes, it was up to the highest I could. I, it was like a wave coming in. It was yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we didn't know. So, yeah, we stayed, but, hey, we were there to protect the store store and our home. But, uh, again, nobody knew this. Everybody was shocked on this one. But he had his first helicopter ride. Not that we want to really advertise that, I but I heard that. the dog was really good. So <laughs> well, I know you're good friends with uh, Kevin Ruane, I think, too, right? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Was, I was calling Doreen, like, yeah. nonstop. Yeah. Well, Kevin's a great man. He's he, been in here before. He spoke yes, about... Yes about Southwest Florida strong and it will get stronger and it will come back and it'll be better. And that's part of, you know, you're part of that. Right. And, and that's why right. you're, that's why you're open for business and we'll get into that, mm -hmm. but that's why you're, you're open for business. You're not going away. And a lot of these small businesses, they're not going to go away. They're pivoting like we talked about and they're figuring out what they need to do mm -hmm. before the Island does come back in that way. Um, we got a little bit of a haul here to get back to that point, but we will get back to that point. So we appreciate you coming in. We appreciate sure. what you've done for the community. Um, we appreciate your store because it's beautiful. I try to keep my wife out of that. <laughs> um, but uh, she's always happy when um, she gets something from there. What's been going on since the storm Insofar with Congress as... Jewelers? So, yeah. Because we've I mean, opened up a new we shop. We opened up a new store pretty quickly, actually. Yeah. I think it's a record for – I mean, I, I can't imagine doing it again and getting this uh, to work out the way it did. Um, we opened in the bell tower that shopping center uh for years has been kind of half empty and originally 20 years ago there was a jewelry store in the spot we were in and all i did was i saw the sign on the door my general manager carlos you know carlos yeah great guy stumbled upon it he said scott i think there might be a vault back in there so we called the property manager and took a tour sure enough there was a vault in there and that's what i needed I yeah mean, we have we literally have great value in our inventory and it needed to be secure before i could move it yeah it's not like you can find a lot of spots with a vault no right no i i called craig albert from the bank and yeah. he said well i have 10 10 by 10 <laughs> uh storage units for you and i said that's not going to do it yeah <laughs> that's not i need a vault that yeah. nobody can get in exactly yeah and so uh so it worked out that this uh became available we signed a lease uh with the bell tower for three years on november 9th yeah and we opened december 2nd yeah and what's key about that day is that was uh, the first friday of every uh, December for the last 40 plus years has been Santa Bell's Luminary. Okay. And it was really important to us to open on Luminary. Yeah, because we had Luminary at the Bell Tower. We actually brought and it I over there. It was, yeah. I, did, I it was, was out of town, but I heard it was yeah. fantastic. I, I was just disappointed I couldn't make my way out of our store because, you know, there's other Santa Bell businesses there. And so Adventures in Paradise and Synergy and Macintosh Books and Bubbles. Bubbly, Bubbly Latitude yep. yeah. are, were all there together. And, you know, and that, I saw that was Santa Bell Captiva Trust just put there. Yes banner yes. up yes. at the bell tower area mm -hmm. so we're so, having a little santa bell uh on fort myers side that's and, great and, and so yeah this luminary was incredible they put out the bags and there were thousands of people in the bell tower i heard people coming in the store said there's no parking out there yeah so it just sounds like yeah. periwinkle place that's sounds like great. normal I yeah them. I and those are the kind of things we needed and it's all yeah. relationships you know i think after scott and i said that this december 2nd i called john at the chamber and i said john you know can we make this work? Will you help the bell tower understand what, what luminary is about? And he's yeah. like, uh, y yes. yes. And so he put him in touch with the marketing person. And I don't think that that shopping center knew what a party was like on Santabelle until yeah, you brought this, business, yes. a lot of business into yeah. right. the it's businesses a, that were already right. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but I it bet was a you great packed night. the house at Dave and Buster's, was, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you brought business Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. But that I still want to go to Dave and Buster's. So were you the first business to open up in there or was there... So no, actually, Adventures and Paradise um, okay. and Synergy, I think, yeah. were open a little before us. Yeah. Um, but we, I think, were the first. We were the first to commit yeah. to going yeah. in there with a sign lease. And you know, yeah. it's it's trust us. We wish we could open our store yesterday back on the island, but it's going to take some time. Yeah. But we are coming back to the island. We live on the island. I, as I tell people, I'm not giving up walking home for lunch. I mean, and walking the dog and just being taking a bike ride at Ding Darling and then going to work and it doesn't feel like work anyways, but I, I just don't envision my life, you know, only being in Fort Myers. Well, you know? again, third generation, you right. want to keep it going. That's right. And, yeah. and we you, have four kids. Yeah. You know, yeah. not that they're all doing their own thing right now, but there will be a time, I do believe. Yeah. That one of them or one, all of them they all, yes. might be involved. <laughs> Could be. That you hope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask something. Um, as far as with, what is Congress Jewelers known for? I mean, because you're not just a jewelry store. No. I mean, what's your, what are you known for? I mean, I know we've got this, but don't you have some other jewelry that you're very well known for? Yeah. That well, our sea life jewelry. Yeah. Your sea life it's jewelry. It's very unique. Uh, my dad, my dad was very prolific artist, and he designed a lot of pieces back in the 1980s when we first moved here. Everything having to do with the beach. Yeah. Uh, my mom went shelling for a hobby and picked up the most perfect shell she could find all up and down the beaches for years. Sand dollars and Venus shells and augers. And I knew all my shells through gold models, you know, models that my dad made yeah. and scrutinized and perfected. And we have over 1,200 little models of shells. And we cast it daily in our shop and we do it in silver and in gold and we make necklaces and pendants and bracelets and all sorts of things out of it so it's a line that's uh, patented it's called sea life by congress and it's sort of our very specialized claim to fame yeah it works well and it you can still well. buy it because you've got a shop over in bell tower thank goodness we and do. you've got a great website because i yeah. learned about that process mm -hmm. And it didn't. I don't think that process of doing that shell. It didn't start with you. It was. A, it's a process that's been around. No, yeah, you just perfected it for us even yeah, more so. Yeah, it's it's called the lost wax method yeah. of casting. And we, like dentists, do teeth, or they used to do teeth in the old days. We cast from a model and get a perfect replica every single time. Yeah. Yeah. And the very first shell I want to say that your dad made was your mom's favorite shell, which right. was the olive shell. That's great. And so that was the very first shell. And we have a line called the birth shells, which in the olive shell is the March birth shell. That yeah, was his mom's birthday. Birthday, yeah. And That's great. Yeah. That's great. So I, I wear actually a bracelet of my four kids' birth shells, and I don't ever take it off. Well, that's the thing. If you're listening, um, go to their website. Um, go to your website because you'll learn a lot about the history of Congress Jewelers and then just that process that we're talking about and then these nice little charms right here that you just come up with mm -hmm. and these are 14 karat gold so we make them in sterling silver they all come with a chain um, the sterling silver ones are 120 dollars, and the gold versions are 1050 with the chain and scott thought about this the day as during the storm during the storm storm he yeah. was trying I'm like to if think i survive this thing i've got to do strong. something commemorative yeah. <laughs> yeah. i love yeah. to see it and it says sanibel strong captiva strong and florida strong mm -hmm. um but i said to you a little bit ago it's southwest florida strong too mm -hmm. And I know you're coming up with some other ones, but we are Southwest Florida strong. Even though Sanibel has its own little community, Captiva's got its own community, Fort Myers Beach, all that, we're Southwest Florida strong. But, you know, for the individuals that just love Sanibel or love Captiva, you've got little charms to represent, you know, what they love the most. And, and the part that's giving back is we're doing proceeds from all of these purchases to Fish of Sandcap yeah. and to the Charitable Foundation of the Islands to that 501C. Just want to Great. let you know, I didn't buy the 120. To yeah. give away. I bought either <laughs> whichever a, one you think. The, the one, yeah. Either yeah. whatever someone would want. Is that the silver? This is the gold one, okay, Mike. So you, you want know, to buy come that on. One. Yes. And the reason why we're doing that to promote you, but also also Thank be you part much. of your give back. Yes. Yeah. You know, because that's what we have to do as locals is give back and help. Mm -hmm. um, and there's other things out there that people are doing in our community to help the islands and the other areas that have been affected. So appreciate you doing that. And you're way of doing that also and i know you do it in other ways too how long before you're back on sanibel do you think because this you know, is about small businesses yeah. this is the topic that we're hearing about right now our beaches are not open um we've got restaurants opening but i always say people got to eat so that's a little bit different than small businesses uh like jewelry businesses right I you mean, know but part is also building your store back right and the owner of that building 
him getting things back. So there's there's a process. Here. Yeah, it's going to take some time. And I then mean, we've got tourism too that you've got to think about because right. you need people to come in and buy that jewelry. And chances are we'll be we're going to be back before it's a mature market right. again. Yeah, I mean we you need to do that. that yeah. it, it helps build everything yeah. when you see the businesses and the yeah. retail environment coming back. But it's going to be a while. But I will tell you, you know, that our our landlord and Ben the Dalman family has always done us right, and yeah. they will continue. He Ben just actually. Flew in yesterday. First place he stopped was our store. He was yeah. wanted to wish us congratulations. Yeah, I mean, they've always done a seriously. great job for Sanibel, I mean, too. Yeah. That yeah. family, yeah. Dahlman family, they've done a great job. First stop. Yeah. I know they're back in full force. Full and, force. You know, they're not going to stop, and they're going to make it better. No, they were so helpful. In fact, you don't know this, but uh, Melissa does. We we had a um, – they were going to get in there and put in a, a new shingle roof. Yeah. And I called them, and I said, look, I want to build this for the future, the shopping center for the future. The only roofs that survived this storm were metal roofs. metal roofs. I think you need to reconsider. Yeah. And they said, Scott, we'd have to pull the roofers off the roof right now. That will slow us down. I said, it's worth it. Yeah. They listened. They flew in. They brought different color choices. They had a little party out in front with all Pizza the party. With all mm-hmm. the all the shop owners to vote on what color roof to put on. I mean, that's they're very special. Yeah. Uh, not many landlords would do that. So, what color did they choose? Do you know? So it, yeah, it's a really neat slate color that's going to go very well with the shopping center. Yeah. And uh, and I think it's going to hold up like iron. I mean, it, it's all the metal roofs I saw are still intact. That's the thing, like we did with Charlie. One of my clients said the other day, Mike, don't you think it's going to be bigger and better when it comes back? I said, it's going to be better. I don't know about bigger, because Sanibel is Sanibel. We're 70% is conservation and preserve. That's not going to change. That's why people come there, Mm -hmm. is for that protection, that conservation and and preserve and what makes Sanibel so special. Um, So it'll be better. It'll be better, you know. More resilient. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah, that's great. And I think, again, you pivoted, you went to the Bell Tower, uh, those people on Sanibel and Captiva and all in Southwest Florida. Um, you're at Bell Tower, you're open for business. My brother went in there the other day before Christmas. He called me up. I- I'm like going, settle down. I mean, what happened? <laughs> it's not that like, exciting. He's like, oh my God, their store is amazing, it's beautiful. Well, I mean, seriously, people will walk in and they'll be like, you've been open three weeks. Yeah. It was like, it is pretty, I mean, it is pretty amazing to, to how we pulled this off. Yeah. But, you know, it took a lot of courage, I will say, and courage on my husband's part that you don't look back. You look forward and you make it happen. I mean, we have 17 employees and they depend upon us. Yeah. And we didn't want to give them any more heartache. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it gives us great joy in seeing our people. Come people so cute today in the store, I will tell you, two neighbors saw each other. They hadn't seen each other. But two neighbors collided in the store, hugs. Oh, you know, they were so excited. I've been in and, there, right. and that's what's been great too. It's almost like a place for locals of Santa Bell and Captiva to go and know that they're going to see true. someone they know. Mm-hmm. You know, it's almost like a stop they, they've got to make. Because mm-hmm. every time I've gone in there, I've seen a lot of Santa Bell people in there and Captiva people in there. Mm-hmm. So continue to go in there. <laughs> um, but all of Fort Myers and local Southwest Florida, go in your shop too, because I think it's one of the best jewelers stores well, around if not the best scott has a little brother in the fraternity at, at uf yeah i've seen andy spiegel in our sh- store just to say hello yeah more than i've seen him in the last 20 years i know andy. <laughs> it's true yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's a good yeah. guy he's yeah. a great guy yeah. but yeah he's like he likes the restaurants in there he'll pop yeah. in it's it's wonderful my brother who's just recently retired he's been in the store like multiple times you know i good. i think it's it's i don't think you're gonna leave i think you're gonna have the store on sanibel yes. but i hope you stay right. In the bell tower. Yeah. And I think maybe that's why that's why happens. we signed a lease because we knew we wanted to have an overlap yeah. and but we you're wanted definitely to give it time. naturally we're going back to Sanibel no matter what. That's that's our love, that's where we live. Yeah. We're definitely going back there. Mm-hmm. But I when I came in the store I said, I hope you guys don't leave the bell tower. <laughs> right after for all this, the right from know? all our friends that live in I think you're gonna cave. do great. Yeah. You know, so that's what we want to. That's why we're doing this tonight is just to promote you, Congress Jewelers, um, what you do, um, and then just to spotlight you and and businesses on the island. They need Southwest Florida's help, um, so go in the bell tower and help those businesses. Um, the other businesses will hopefully open up too uh, when they do, um, but we need to support them, um, and that's what makes this community so strong. So. I appreciate everything you guys do and your give back to the community of Sanibel and Captiva. And that's why we need to come in your store and, and help you right now too. Thanks, man. You know, so means these lot. little things right here, if, if you don't want to buy something, you know, more expensive or whatever, you got to at least buy these. That's, that's what 
Southwest Florida is all about. Captiva, Sanibel is all about. It was so encouraging to us when we put this up on our website, I think October 24th, 25th. Yeah. Yeah. And immediately we started getting orders. We're like, oh my gosh, we're, we're relevant. People yeah. are still going to want to like I've support. seen a bunch of people wearing this. Yeah, no, I had people, yeah. But That's so, great. But it just, it made it, well, it, it gave, gave us, us something focused. And, and it gave us positive. a lot of confidence right. to know that we were doing the right thing. Yeah. Because here we lost our store and we've just come off the pandemic. <laughs> and yet we're still doing business without a home base, without a storefront. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty nerve wracking to think that it went away, but yet we're still doing business. Yeah, I mean, and it just made us feel like, OK, we're doing the right thing by reopening. And your home. Have you moved back into your home yet? No, it's probably going to be about a year, I would think. So, yeah. you know, so. you didn't stop. The, the store was the focus. Now yeah. we're like, OK, we need to probably spend a little bit more time. I mean, we, we've been working, obviously, on our home, but it's not been. It's going to take time. It's going to take some time. But again, you didn't stop. You open up business, business as usual, but you're also giving back already again. You well, know? The, the, you know, Scott's on, he's the board chair of the Bailey Matthews National Shell Museum. Yeah. And he's like, his year was up. I mean, yeah. like his six years done. And they convinced him, you know, <laughs> no, you can't leave now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and so just... he, say, he stayed, another, stay, stayed another year and same thing with me with the board that I'm on. You know, you just, this is, isn't the time to just step away. Yeah. This is the time when our community, we feel that really needs us. And, yeah. t and we're not stepping away. Well, we're selling as realtors. I told one of my real estate, real estate teammates is we got to sell the dream. We got to sell what's coming. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be part of it? And that's what you're doing here too. You want to be part of it? And that's what we're doing. You know, you're part of it. And we hope those other people are part of it too. And more people come in and join and be part of what, what's to come. Because yeah. it will come back. Mm -hmm. It's going to come back. It's already starting to come back. Um, Our grass is green. Yeah. I will tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So appreciate you coming in tonight. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say? No, thank you so much for having us. And well, this you, has been a lot of fun. And yeah. We just want to promote you. <laughs> well, and thank say you. thank you for everything you guys have done for the community for 30 years. Um, giving and just serving the community. So... Um, Wish you good luck with the store over here. I know Thank you don't you. need it. Thank How was you. Christmas? Very good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I went by. We were, we were thrilled. <laughs> we, had, we had something happening every day. Yeah. And that's all I asked for is just to be busy. I wasn't yeah. planning on buying jewelry, but, you know, Sorry. such Hell a great no. salesman hey, she no. is. <laughs> she convinced me to do it. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know. It didn't take much convincing. <laughs> no. Hey, we love you guys. Okay. Thank you, Mike. We love you guys. Okay. Mike. Love your kids, too. Fun. Yeah. So Becker thanks for coming in. Okay. Absolutely. Support Congress Jewelers. Support small businesses on Santa Mel Captiva, Fort Myers Beach, our local communities that need it. They need your help. So please support them. And uh, the island is open now. Yes. yes. So if you don't need to be out there, don't go out there. <laughs> um, there'll be time for that. Uh, go to Congress Jewelers instead. Yeah, we'll give you the <laughs> island treatment right on right in Fort Myers. So thanks again, guys. Thank, okay. you. Thank you. Have a good okay. call. Thank you.